Man, the food McCombs was so good. Girl, now I see why so many people were there. I would have been there all week for their food. Seeing how you're built, I'm not surprised. Hey! Anyway, we probably should get back to work. Well, we don't have to go back to work right now. But our break just ended, so we have to go back to work. Yeah, but we can just tell them that we got sick. And that way, we can get our going back to work. But we're not sick. Yeah, but they don't have to know that. But, won't they? <sighs> oh my god, we're going to lie to them to get out of going back to work, bro. What? Wait, you're just now catching this on? We can't just lie to them, kitty. It's wrong. Oh, come on, bro. It'll be fun. And we work hard enough already. But it's still wrong. And if we did do that, why would they find out we lied? That won't happen. I used this excuse on Mom and Dad on that day we skipped school, and they never cause. No, Mom and Dad caused a third time, and they got angry. Come on, they weren't that mad. They sprinklers were a pipe, and they took our stuff away for a week. Wait, the parents beat you both with a pipe? Well, they're not our parents, and this plan will work, and they'll never find out. I think. <sighs> Guys, I need you. Three, to come back to the factory. <sighs> Whoa, calm down, man. Yeah, why are you so tired? I just ran all the way out here to find you three. Have you ever heard this thing called a car? That doesn't matter right now. Look, someone broke into the factory. Wait, what? Who broke into the factory? They better not have stolen my AirPods. I'll explain it all when we get there. Now come on. Oh, and don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to alarm anyone. Hey, is everything okay? Oh, it's nothing. So we just broke into Swaggy's factory. Wait, what? Oops. Just come on. We heard about what happened. Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. They just stole my money. They allowed me the biggest crack in the world. Wow. Did they use explosives to do that? They probably did. I'm glad I didn't see that. It probably would have looked scary. So who do you think broke in? We currently don't know, but we're hiring an investigator to look into it. Are you sure this investigator will find those bandits who did this? They said he is one of the best investigators on the island. So we're hoping. Is he also going to find the employees who are getting out? No, he's going to find a way to get with Kim Kardashian. Wait, really? No, that was sarcasm. Oh. Well, I need to go make sure these okay. If we need to go check out our cousins, I hope nothing bad happened to them. So how much is it going to cost to repair that wall? Up to five days and dollars. Oh, damn. Well, at least we have the money to cover it. You read? I have the money to cover it, but yeah, I just hate giving away money, especially since it goes to my account in the factory and the employees too, yeah. So who were the two employees who were kidnapped? We suspect that they kidnapped Teddy Kong and Tixie Fitzgerald, since I haven't seen them in over two hours. That, or they could still be on their lunch break distracting each other. I, uh, gotta go do something. Where could he be going? Who knows, who cares? D, are you okay? Wait, who are you? Well, this is our cousin, Tawny. Huh, she's really tall for someone named Tawny. Yeah, she used to be really small, but she had a growth spurt. A really fast one. Wait, why are you so sad, Tawny? I found this note, and I've read it, and it made me worry as hell. Wait, what did the note say? It said horrible things. It said it was for someone named DK. That's me. Let me see it. Okay. Dear DK, I've taken your little pussy nephew and some girl Kong in pink 
and I won't give them back until you give me your banana hoard. And if you don't give me the hoard, I'll torture the living hell out of this little pussy and this pink bitch too. So you better choose a smart decision, you dumbass ape. P.S. Can you get me a milkshake on your way here? I don't like any of you, but the McCons there make good milkshakes. Anyway, sincerely, your handsome, dashing, and most intelligent king, K. Roll, laughing. Oh my god, they have Dixie! I hope that asshole doesn't hurt. Don't worry, I'm gonna go to Crocodile Island and get your sister and my nephew back. But you can't go there alone. Yeah, it could be dangerous. Don't worry, I've been there so many times, I've lost count. I'll be fine. They're right, you can't go alone. Let us come with you, we can help. What? No way, I'm not putting you guys in danger. But we don't want you to get hurt. I've told you all, I've been there before. You don't have to worry about me. Yeah, but who knows what could happen. Just let us help you. I'm sorry, but no, I can't have you all getting hurt. Listen here, you King Kong ripoff. Oh no, you set off. This k roll guy kidnapped my sister and their cousin, who we love very much. Now I appreciate that you want us to be safe, but believe me, we can handle ourselves. And we're not going to let it be caged up like an animal. I mean, we practically are animals. Shut up, kitty. I'm trying to make a point. Now, I don't know you, but from what I've heard, you seem like a good person. So please, just let us help you. With the four of us, we can stand more of a chance against them. All right, but you all have to listen to me to get them back. We will. Thanks, DK. No problem. <laughs> DK, it's about your nephew. Did it? It's okay. We already know about Dee and Dixie, and we're going to Crocodile Island to go get them back. Wait, they're on Crocodile Island? No, they're at the movies seeing that God for Lightyear movie. Do you know how many criminal guards is around that island? Not many, and they're usually asleep sometimes when I go there. Talk about a high security team. That may be true, but will you all get hurt, or even worse, die? Look, Ricky, you don't have to worry about us. We'll be fine. I've been protecting this island for years, and these three somebody can hold their own. <sighs> okay, but you four better come back alive. Will do. Come on, guys. Let's go save our friends. <laughs> I can't wait to see DK come here with his now, horde. Let's off here now. Yeah, it stinks. And you can't just do this to us. Shut up, you filthy brat. You're ruining my happy moment. You can't seriously be happy with kidnapping two cars just from a now, horde. Well, yes, I actually can. It feels so good. God, do you know how insane you are? I know. I'm smart, strong, and handsome. I get that a lot. I didn't even say any of that. Whatever. I'm gonna go get some beer, eat dirty sandwiches, and watch Netflix or something. I think that's a good idea, especially for someone who weighs over 400 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> now you watch your mouth, Ponytail, and you better stop laughing, pussy. Well, I'm going to tell DK that his friends accidentally got eaten by my precious clap traps. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to relax in my throat room. And for the record, I'm only 365 pounds. That doesn't make it bad, dude. <laughs> Man, that guy is such an asshole. I know, I hate when he does stuff like this. Wait, he's done this before? Yeah, he kidnapped either me or other cons to get up a now horde so that he can starve us. He knows we have other food sources, right? Yeah, but he wants a banana horde because it's something valuable to my family. And he hates my family. Seeing as how he did this, I'm not surprised. Well, I hope someone comes and rescue us. Oh, don't worry. My Uncle DK will come and get us. Who's DK? He's my uncle who defends Carl and from K. Rowan and his Kremlin army. Oh, yeah. Now I remember who he is. He must be a big deal around the island. You have no idea. One con tried to get plastic surgery just to look like him. Wow, I never heard of a fan who would go that far. But then again, there are people who've done crazier things. Take help a lector, for example. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talking to you has made us a little bit more calming. R really? Y yeah. <laughs> well, we can talk some more if you want. Y yeah. I like that. So 
how are we going to get to Crocodile Island? Are we going to have to swim all the way there? We better not. I do not want to get my hair wet. Guys, calm down. We're not going to swim there. We're going to ride a boat there. Man, this boat looks old. I think we're chunky. It looks like it was made in the year the Titanic ship was made. Oh, come on, guys. Just because it looks old doesn't mean it won't work. Are you sure about that now? Well, that doesn't mean we still can't use it. Okay, there's gotta be another boat we can use. We can't. They cost about $75 or $100 to use. Why are they that expensive? I think they were running low on boats or something. Well, there's gotta be something else we can do to get to Crocodile Island. Well, I mean, we could swim in the water with the fishes, crabs, and large sharks. Wait, there are sharks? Yeah, they said there were reports about large sharks in the river with 50 Kongs in the hospital. I also think they might have said that some were eating. You know what? We're taking the boat. Well, are you sure? Yep, now let's get our asses on the boat. Yeah, and I don't really like the water, even if there weren't sharks. Is this because of what happened on beach day? They sure have more floors for people more than five. <gasps> Who the hell is it? Your Majesty, we have information. Well, this better be worth my time, Clump. It's about that stupid DK of greatness. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about him. Is he finally here with Banana Horde? That's the thing, Sawyer. He's not here yet. Wait, what? Me and Crusher were looking for him, and he's nowhere to be seen. Uh, well, he needs to hurry up. I literally have his nephew and this girl in pink. Wait, you can have his nephew and some girl in pink? Uh, yeah. You were on the boat with them, Crusher. Oh, I think I wasn't paying attention to that. I was not focused on those pretty female Kongs. You were seriously paying all your attention on our sworn enemies? Yeah, but they were pretty. Yeah, I didn't want to miss some eye candy. That's like saying you put all your attention on Tesla cars because they were made by Elon Musk. Well, they're pretty cool. I don't care. When you're working for me, you pay attention to what you're assigned to do. Now do I make myself clear? <sighs> yes, your highness. Good. Now you two get out of here. I'm finna watch Stranger Things. Ooh, I like that show. I like the part in season 4 when- Shut up, Clump! I haven't seen it yet, and I don't want any spoilers! Oh, sorry, your greatness. So, can I watch with you? No! Alright guys, I think we're almost there. Thank goodness, now we're close to saving Dixie. And Dee too. I'm just glad we can get off this boat. The floor feels hard, and I think I saw someone's foot in here. The boat is literally made out of wood. Of course the floors are going to be soft. Though, I don't know about the foot. Well, uh, guys, I think I feel something on my leg. It's probably just wood. But it feels hairy. Then it's probably Ty's hairy feet. Do you want them swimming with the fishes, asshole? No, I don't think it's tiny. It feels more picky-like, and I think it smells. That would be me, Matt. <gasps> <gasps> Who the hell are you? This better not be a damn thief. I ain't no bloody bandit. Wait, guys, this is just my cousin, Linky. This is your cousin? But you both don't even look alike. Chunky, you don't have to look alike to be related. I keep telling you this. Anyway, why well, y'all mates head off, too. We're on our way to see Dee and their cousin Dixie, because Kiro kidnapped them. What? Not bloody did I. He's my fourth favorite cousin. Fourth? Fourth does it count Stardy. Who's Stardy? Forget whoever Stardy is, I think I see Crocodile Island. Wait, for real? Alright guys, we're here. Why does it look so bad? It smells worse than Lanky. You little asshole. These goblins are lazy as hell, so they don't take care of the island well, but they hate anyone who's not from around here, which is why we have to be careful and not be seen. Or at least like a bright fast before we look around. What did you think you're on the boat half the time? No, we did go see Dee and Dixie before Carol does something horrible to them. What do you mean by horrible? I don't know, but that's why we have to go there, now. But we don't know where he is. How are we going to find him if we don't know where he lives? Oh, there's my castle right in front of us. Wait, what? Huh. It still looks ugly and damp as I remembered. 
Damn, that was easy. Yeah, but we still gotta go unseen by anyone while we're on the way there. What are you strangers doing here? <laughs> what? You said no one had to see us, and someone did, so... I guess you're right. Anyway, let's go and hope you didn't punch him too hard. <laughs> and then he actually did that? <laughs> yeah, Chucky may be big, but that doesn't mean he's the bravest. You know, talking to you has been a lot of fun, Dixie. Thanks. It's been fun talking to you too, Diddy. It's made this kidnapping a little less scary and gross. Hey, lovebirds. Just came to remind you that you two better hope the DK gets here, or you two will be having a hard time getting out of the ground. Why do you mean? Uh, are you gonna kill us? No. Who do you think I am? Albert Fish? Phew. Thank goodness. I wouldn't put you both in the door of a lie, and then a little fire around your graves. That way, you two won't be able to get out. <laughs> okay, that's a lot more worse, and just cruel. <laughs> I know. Wait, when the fire spread throughout the island and burn everything and everyone, including you? <sighs> Damn it. Now I gotta come up with a different plan of torture. Okay, everyone, be careful while looking around. We don't know what traps K. Roll could have set up. You got it, DK. Ah, Chunky, be quiet. I'm sorry, boys, to my pencil. Well, can you scream more quietly? I just get my sharp pencil, and you're telling me to scream quietly? Well, being here with weapons is gonna hurt a lot worse. Hey, Mars, I got this place shot with arrows. Well, we did say watch out for traps. Well, then what the hell is the matter with K-Roll? What is it wrong with K-Roll? Guys, I know where Dixie and Dee are. <gasps> where? They're in that room in front of us. Wait, how can you be sure? Because it literally says captive's room above the door. Oh. Very seriously, need to work on his plans better. Like how you need to work on smelling more better? I ain't gonna tell you again, you little asshole. This guy is going to regret kidnapping my sister. Yeah, I can't wait to kick his ass. Kitty, what have I told you about swearing? But yeah, we're coming to save you, Dixie. Okay, guys, before we kick his ass, we gotta go in there quietly, and without making a scene. Okay. Okay, I'll put poisonous and then mistakes around your graves. That way, you two will still have a chance of dying, even if you get out. <laughs> But that also would mean the snakes would slither all throughout the island and could endanger everyone, including you. She does make a good point, man. Urgh, can you both show up and let me come up with my brilliant ideas in peace? What the hell was that noise? <sighs> Finally, the big strong Donkey Kong is here. Damn right, and you're going to pay for kidnapping duty. Hey, you're gonna pay for kidnapping my sister! Oh, your sister with this pink girl? Well, don't worry. You'll be in there with too, gorgeous. Now if we kick her fast first. Well, good luck with that. Crusher, Club, Crayers. Uh, great. Who are these guys? Well, those two in front of K-Rule are his right-hand mans. The blue one in the tank top is Crusher, and the fat brown one with the belt is Sergeant Clump. Or was it just called them K-Roll's kiss houses? Hey! You gotta pay for saying that about Scrawny. Yeah, I'll make sure you clowns won't be able to say anything once I'm done with you. Oh yeah? Come on everyone, let's kick their asses! Hello! <laughs> I knew this baby would come in handy one day. Oh, come on, man. Let's not do things we don't want to do. Oh, believe me. I want to do this. Ow. Now let's make this quick. I got a football game to watch.
Why? You watch football too? Yeah, I watch NFL. Oh, me too, man. Wait, really? Yeah, man. I watched it last night. It was jolly good. Yeah, it was. I like it when they made that big ass touchdown. Yeah, man. It was amazing. I like it when they beat the Jaguars. Yeah, they suck. Like the Cardinals. Oh, same here, Matt. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna get you both out of here safe and sound. Phew. Thanks, huh? Sorry, who are you again? Oh, her name's Tiny. She's my sister. Oh. You're really tall for someone named Tiny. I get that a lot. Wait. How are you gonna get us out of here? It has a lock. Don't worry. I'm good with unlocking locks with knives. Where'd you get that knife from? I found it on the boat we ride on the way here. There was also a severed foot on the floor. Wow, that's not creepy at all. Anyway, forget about that. Let's just focus on getting you two out of here. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, crap! You better stop whatever you're doing and give me that knife, or else you might have a bunch of bruises on that pretty little face of yours. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Now you better go away and mind your own business, or I can knock all those ugly ass teeth out of your mouth. <laughs> You knock all my teeth out. Looks like saying you can get the bullet down the mine with your bare feet. But alright, give me the best shot, little girl. Sorry, did you just call me little girl? Uh, yeah. Are you deaf, little girl? <laughs> How did that feel, scary boy? <coughs> there was nothing, little girl. <laughs> I take it back. You're not a little girl. You're a big, strong girl. Please stop. Wow. Your sister gets really pissed when someone calls her a little girl. Yeah, that's tiny for you. Wait, the knife. <gasps> tiny must have dropped it while she was finding that crayon. Really? I thought it just magically appeared there on the floor. Hold on. I'll get it. Uh, hold on. I just gotta stretch my arm out a little bit more. Oh boy. So it's about the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was awesome. It's a shame the Bengals lost though. I lost over thirty-five dollars because of them. I agree with you on that, man. I bet with fifty dollars the Bengals would take victory. Damn, you must have been real pissed. Yeah, but I got over in three days. Although I did wish I got that two thousand dollars. Mm, come on. Do you need any help? D don't worry, I can get the key. Ah! Oh god. You know, I gotta admit, you're pretty tough for a little kid. And for someone who's 40, you don't seem that much of a boomer. Ah! Now you better shut your mouth, you little bastard. And for your information, I'm 28. I don't really think that makes it any better, dude. Curry! <laughs> you got any last words, kid? <coughs> yeah, can you please brush your teeth? It smells like a sewage pipe. This it, punk. You asked for this beat down. Get away from my brother! <laughs> we didn't say that. Uh, are you okay, Lieutenant Crusher? Mm. Is that yes or no, sir? Kay, are you okay? <coughs> I'm a little bruised, but I'll be fine. Thanks, bro. No problem, bro. Although I do hope that Kremlin God's okay. He just gave me a black eye and a nosebleed, and you're worried if he's okay? Well, he could be hurt. I'm hurt. <sighs> okay, fair point. So it's alright about the football game to die. Yeah, I plan on watching tonight when I go home. Sorry, man, man. I can't wait to see Tom Brady knock down those lots. Wait, you like Tom Brady? Yeah, man. He's awesome. I can't wait to see him make a touchdown. Can you? No, I don't like Tom Brady. What? Well, then who do you like? I like paying money. Paying bloody money? Yeah. He makes over $250 million, and he's a great quarterback. Well, Tom Brady has over $400 million, and he has seven Super Bowl rings.
Yeah, but PMA was a first 10 time pro five times. Does a hell of a lot better than Bray's ever done. Don't you ever talk bad about Tom Breda. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> That's for insulting Tom Breda. And for kidnapping my cousin too. <laughs> you ears are useless! Cause I'll have to do things my damn self! Okay, I can't get it. Let me try. Are you sure? It'll be tiring and make your arm feel longer than the other. Just let me try. Wow, that was fast. Yes, route! We did! When was that noise? Uncle DK! Oh my god, how are we gonna help him? Wait, I have an idea. Okay, what is it? Okay, here's what we need to do. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect to win this time, DK. I mean, I've kicked your ass before, so yeah, I did expect to win. Uh, you asshole! You just insult me, and I'm the asshole? I wasn't insulting you, I was just being honest. Well, since we're being honest, I'm gonna stop the living hell out of you and take over Con Island once and for all. Like hell you are. Who's gonna stop me? Your old grandfather? No, I will. Ha! Go off me, you stupid brat! Did he? I want to get rid of your ass too. So say goodbye, monkey. No! Get on my way, ponytail, or I'll cut that pretty little hair of yours off. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> wow, you do him hard. Not, not trying to be rude or anything. It's cool. I was trying to do the plan correctly, or we probably wouldn't be here right now. Diddy, are you okay? Oh, don't worry, Uncle DK. I'm fine. Him throwing me was just a part of the plan. Wait, what plan? Well, when me and Dixie escaped from the cage, we saw you getting beat up by k -Roll. Okay, I wasn't getting beat up. I was just going a little bit easy on him. The blood in your face says otherwise. And then we came up with a plan to save you. I was supposed to jump on k Ron, so that way he can get away from you and come towards us, so that way DC can throw him. Although, I was expecting for him to hit the floor, not the window, and then the floor. Well, you gotta admit, it was funny. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, it was pretty funny. Yeah, and he was asking for it. Anyway, I'm just glad you're both safe. Me and the others were so worried. Wait, others? Dixie! <laughs> Chunky, kitty! I'm so glad you're safe, Dixie. Me and Kitty were really worried. Yeah, I was worried how I was going to go to Coco Mart. And for your safety, too. Well, I appreciate you guys coming to my rescue. Hi, Mart. Rather go home. Oh, hey, Linky. I didn't expect you to be here. Oh, I'd do anything for my fourth favorite cousin. Sorry, I'm fourth. Hey, guys. Ready to go? Oh, Tony, where were you? Oh, I was just beating up that green critter who was unbelievably rude. Are you talking about the gray one with a bunch of blood and a black eye on him? Yep, that's him. Yikes! And you did that to him? Uh, yeah. Why did you hurt him so badly? Let's just say, don't ever call me a little girl. Ever. Noted. Where the hell are those ears with my money? Don't worry, sir. They're probably almost here. It's been over six hours. They should be back from Crocodile Alley with my money. And with the kidnap employees too. Seeing as how they're not back here on time, I can assume they've most likely failed and are possibly dead right now. Don't say that. With our two, they possibly are dead. I did not say they are dead. I said they are probably.
probably did, since they haven't returned yet. Look, just because they're not back yet doesn't mean they're dead. Maybe they're probably still fine. Sure, and John Kramer from the Saw movies is an delusional torturer. Hey guys. You made it, DK. I told you we'd make it back. How surprising. I see you got the employees back. Is it my chance you brought back my money? Oh, it's right here. Finally, my money's back where it belongs. Yep, and it's all thanks to these seven columns right here. No problem, guys. We're always glad to help out. I guess this proves you seven are completely useless after all. Uh, thanks, I guess. So, where's our award? Sorry, what? Do you know a award to congratulate us? We should give you seven a reward. Well, for starters, we had to sail on a broke down boat there. And we also had to fight those criminals and critters. We also got your money back. You do understand we could have just left it, right? Yeah, you do make a good point, sir. <sighs> you keep free. Just let me think. Hey, good. As a reward for getting back the employees and my money, and we can bring Lucy and Ricky's areas together. That way, you all can work together. How does that sound? Yeah, that's awesome! Wait, what? Yeah, that's amazing! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Swinky. I was expecting a drone, but this is alright. Isn't this great, Lucy? Yay. What the hell took you two so long? It's been two hours! Sorry, Grandpa. Me and some friends have to go save Dee and their cousin from K. Roll. Wait, what? Yeah, me and this girl named Dixie were kidnapped by King Roll to get a banana horn. Well, you hurt! Oh, don't worry, Grandpa. I'm fine. Oh, good. I don't know what I would have done if you got hurt. You'd probably be complaining all day and wonder who's gonna get your medicine now. Yup, DK! Although I will admit, I'm glad you saved them and the fitness island. Guess this proves you're not a complete lazy bum. Wow. Thanks, Grandpa. I think that's the nicest thing you ever said about me. Yeah, don't let it go to your head. Anyway, you two take out the trash and then do whatever you want. No problem, Grandpa. My grandboys are getting braver every day. So I'm not cranky, I want more seeds! Shut up, you stupid bird! I'm trying to have a moment here! You know, I really like how Grandpa was nice to us. Yeah, it was nice to see his soft side, even though he rarely shows it. <laughs> yeah. So how was it with Dixie? Oh, it was fine. Why do you ask? Because I know you like her. What? what No, I don't! Come on, little buddy. I know you like her. How could you possibly know that? While I was in that fight with Carol, I saw you blushing. Well, I was just hot. k doesn't exactly have good air conditioning. Come on, just admit it. <sighs> okay, fine. I like her. Are you happy now? <laughs> anyway, I think you should tell her. She might feel the same way. Y you think so? I know so. Okay, I think I might ask her out, but not right now. Why? We were literally kidnapped about an hour ago. You don't think that feels too soon? Oh, right. Speaking of us being on the island, I was kind of wondering if Kayla woke up by now. I doubt he's awake. He's probably sleeping while having the real crumbs on his belly. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those crumbs. Crusher, Clop, get in here now. Yes, Your Majesty. Good, you're here. I need you to. Wait, what the hell's Crusher? Oh, he couldn't come because he was in bad condition. Poor condition? Being sorry as hell? No, he has bad pains from being thrown out the window. Great. Just great. You know what? Just help me up. Yes, your glorious. <sighs> okay. This might take a while. 